हेलो हाय एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन संजय गुप्ता टेक्स स्कूल सो टुडे इज़ डे सिक्स ऑफ दिस साइबर सिक्योरिटी बूट कैम्प एंड आई हैव सुमित विद मी सो वेलकम सुमित ऑन द चैनल सो टुडे सुमित विल बी गाइडिंग यू लाइक हाउ यू कैन सेट अप योर अकाउंट्स ऑन फ्यू वेबसाइट्स एंड हाउ टू डाउनलोड फ्यू सॉफ्टवेयर सो प्लीज़ फॉलो ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्रॉपरली so that uh, from next week whatever uh, demonstrations he will be doing uh, you will be able to understand them properly over to you sumit hello welcome again on this cyber security boot camp day 6 and my name is sumit jain and i welcome you all on this uh, journey with me so previously uh, we will discuss about how network functions how network function function network will uh, uh, will create in your domain and how will you assign ip addresses and mac addresses how uh, ports will be used throughout your network to transfer the data so today and in next sessions we will be uh, doing we will be reading and uh, doing demonstrations and uh, uh, some findings regarding the web security which will be our main topics in this cyber security boot camp so let me introduce myself my name is sumit jain and i am a ethical hacker and cyber security expert from uh, past 10 years uh, i am right now uh, working in senec red team and pentabig pentabug red team as a web security researcher apart from that i am working as a senior security specialist at gtron networks previously i am working as a guest uh, instructor at cdts center detective training school and right now i am creating content on youtube to help student freshers professionals to build their career and who wants to start uh, and uh, make a career in cyber security and uh, related domains so you can subscribe my youtube channel and uh, follow and share these uh, videos and content i created regularly you can follow the sanjay gupta tech school uh, youtube channel as well for this cyber security boot camp and the salesforce boot camp as well uh, please share a review or feedback about this boot camp so i will know uh, so i will uh, know how you react how you understand what i uh, teaching you what i what i delivering you you can follow me on these below platforms as well uh, i am available on linkedin twitter and we have created a telegram group as well where you can uh, put your queries your questions and if something is uh, not answerable in this session live session you, you can ask uh, in telegram group the links are available in the video description so with that note uh, let's begin our today's topic so today i am going to tell you how to set up your lab the let up the lab we will uh, need to test or to understand how this cyber security functions so first we will uh, modify our browser we will use our firefox browser and in this browser we will add some addons the names of the addons are weblizer cookie editor hunter io dot git shodan and foxy foxy these addons are some basic plugins which will be uh, available in the firefox addon section and you will be installed these addons to make your uh, work efficiently when you test a website and when you uh, doing cyber security information technique like footprinting so you will uh, need those addons to gather some information to collect some information and use the use the information regarding some scanning techniques so let's move on to our firefox and i will show you how to install these addons so first uh, where to find the addon section where to find how to download these addons so you you need to press control shift a in your uh, in your firefox browser and you will you will uh, you will be navigate to the firefox addon section where you can download different types of addon which will be available in the uh, firefox addon store and here you can search the addons i named in the slide 
you can uh, type the cookie editor and search after that you can uh, download you can click on this link and you will download so i already download the cookie editor so you can uh, install with with this button where you can uh, install and uh, add in your firefox so all these add-ons cookie editor webalizer hunter these are available in the firefox add-on store you can search and download hunter is hunter is available here and cookie editor is available here and webalizer this is the webalizer add-on so when you install these add-ons these add-ons will reflected in your uh, upper bar like this this is my webalizer add-on and uh, this is my hunter add-on this is my shodan add-on so all the add-ons you need all the add-ons you will download will display over the here you 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 can see I'm, i am i already downloaded the dot get hunter shodan webalizer cookie editor and other add-ons as well so right now you will only need uh, these 5 to 6 add-ons for your cyber security journey webalizer is basically uh, tell you tell tell us uh, what technologies a domain will used if you visit a website and uh, the the websites are uh, the the website will built on different technologies using this add-on we can find out what technologies the website uh, is using what frameworks what server what uh, uh, language what analytics what are the what are the other different different uh, technologies the website is using it will be displayed by this by using this addon cookie editor addon will uh, show you the cookies of your uh, session when you uh, login into a account the cookies will generated and using this cookie editor we can see uh, the cookies hunter.io will display email address of a domain dot git will display a git file in your domain shodan will display a port name on your domain how many ports are uh, running on your domain how many ports are open and how many ports are closed you can find that via by using this domain proxy proxy addon will help you to uh, redirect your traffic so why we need uh, those addons so let me explain you so uh, we almost visit a website using http protocol so when we visit a website a http protocol will create and this stands for hypertext transfer protocol yesterday i will told you about the how protocol how ports are function so port number 80 which will be called http protocol named for hypertext transfer protocol this protocol is responsible for uh, your communication when you are communicate with a website when you are accessing a website when you are accessing some data on the internet using a domain name this protocol will be a uh, main reason why you are accessing those data so it is a protocol used to access the data on the world wide web and uh, stands for hypertext transfer protocol the http protocol can be used to transfer the data in the form of plain text hypertext audio video and so on the different types of format we have to transfer the data it will be uh, it will be available using http protocol so when we visit a website when we visit a website it will be displayed here so right now this protocol is displayed here because i am using the google will use http protocol the secure version that's why it is it will be displayed here as as a https protocol so every website you will use like if i use uh, flipkart.com so a protocol will be used to connect your connect your browser to the flipkart server this protocol is the main reason to uh, transfer or access the data or to load your data into your browser so two types of protocol will be used 
वन इज एस टी टी पी एंड द अदर वन इज एस टी टी पी एस दिस प्रोटोकॉल एस टी टी पी प्रोटोकॉल विल शेयर विल बी मेन रीजन टू एक्सेस योर डेटा एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड योर डेटा विद द सिक्योर फंक्शन यू विल यूज एस टी टी पी एस सो वेन वी रीड अबाउट यू आर एल यू आर एल इज समथिंग लाइक यूनिफॉर्म रिसोर्स लोकेटर uniform resource locator and this will be a url if you are using a website so your website will be accessed by this this is a url we uh, called it a this as a url and this is a protocol this is your world wide web where you are accessing your data this is your domain name then that, that we have a port number a port uh, which we are connected to so if you are using https connection the port number is 443 so the port is not shown uh, in the url url section but if you uh, if you uh, write a port and if you want to uh, connect what connect the target with a port number you can you can you can be able to so let me show you how you can uh, turn, you can connect a domain with a port number so this is my domain name and if i type here a port number you will be redirect to you will be redirect to this website like if i type the port number you will be redirect to the main website so port number is also used but uh, uh, it is not displayed here because we are already using this http protocol and if you if we give another port like 21 the 20 port port is not available to show here so we will get a message that this address is restricted the this address use a network port which is normally used for purpose other than web browsing firefox has cancelled the request for your protection so we are not allowed to access the data on port number 21 that's why we get uh, this error we get this messages so basically when we are uh, accessing a website when we are connecting a domain we usually use these two protocols one is http if we want to send our data non securely then we use http and if we want to send our data securely in secure form we send we use https so mainly the uh, all the websites use this version because it is it is secure so when your browser generates some data when your browser sends a request to the uh, server it will be formed into this using this protocol and this protocol generates some messages to share to receive or to transmit the data to your server or to your browser so basically http protocol is using two types of messages like this suppose this is your browser and this is your server where you want to access so this is your firefox browser and this is your server where you want to uh, get your data this is your google server so when we connect with the domain uh, messages are exchanged between your browser between your computer and between your servers so those messages are exchanged your browser will generate generate a request to the respective server 
and uh, your server will respond to to that request so messages are being sent the conversation is done by uh, using messages so http protocol http protocol using two types of messages one is request when your browser generate a messages a message to uh, transmit the data onto the server it will be called a request and when a server is responding it will be called response so those messages are exchanged between your browser and your server so http protocol is under two types of message one is request message the request message is sent by the client that consists of a request line headers and some data the response message is sent by the server to to the client that consists of status line headers and sometimes a body so what type of data a request contains or what type of data a response contains so your addons which will be you are installing in your browser in your uh, firefox uh, these addons will help you to detect or to display these messages these request or responses and we will uh, use additionally some softwares to capture all those requests which our browser generate our browser is generating and all those responses our server will be generating so with the help of these software we can anal analyze uh, what what in the real what in the request is and what what type of data response contain so according to our use according to our uh, methodology we can uh, we can delete we can uh, change we can modify we can add some data in these messages we can add some data in the request messages and we can add some data in the response messages as well so basically when uh, we do a pen test on the web application a target a domain name we mostly analyze these responses these requests because they are uh, they are something they are they are uh, they are most uh, they are containing the most data which you are sending uh, throughout your uh, connection right so to uh, to capture these these data we need a software and some addons the addons you are already install installing in your system but we need a software the software is called bob suit and it is available here the website name is portsfigure.net the, uh, the product they will be create is named bob suit and bob suit is a software uh, which will be uh, captured all the request that will be generated by the browser or the response that will be generated by the server so bob suit can capture all the traffic which will be uh, floating in your network so bob suit support so figure created four types of version of this bob suit software one is enterprise version where you can uh, purchase or buy for your enterprise enabled dynamic web vulnerability scanner you can use bob suit professionals this is also paid version and bob suit community edition this is a free version so we can use uh, instantly and this version is lightweight web application security for cid cd ci cd integration if you are uh, familiar with the devops technology we use this version but right now we don't have to pay to uh, buy this software so we are using this version bob suit community edition so you 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 will click on here and can find the download option so go straight to downloads and the this software will download uh, in your directory upon downloading you can simply install uh, the software the installation process is simple you can uh, open the file and click on next and click on next next the uh, software will be installed let me show you how you will install this so i already downloaded this software click on this and uh, my software will be installed because i am using mac so the installation of uh, any software in the mac is uh, like this 
and if you are using other operating system you need to click on that file and uh, follow the installation process so now the my my, my bob suit is installed and as you can see this is my bob suit community edition okay now we need to configure this uh, software sorry, to sorry, your admin, browser uh, that uh, window is not visible so i think you need to share the whole screen then those files will be visible yeah now it is visible so your software will be installed in your system now you need to configure uh, with this your browser so with with the help of some add-ons we will configure and uh, we can capture all the traffics regard the browser the traffic the which will be your browser generating and bob suit will capture all the traffics after catching the traffic we can analyze and we can modify and we can see what your web uh, web message says so upon installing you can click on next and start bob here you can find uh, all the functions of this bob suit community edition first we need to uh, configure with this uh, with our browser so here you can find a function which will be called proxy so proxy is something where you can listen all the traffic the browser generate so we need to enable it and then we go to here options in option section you can find you can find a ip address and a port number this is a ip address this is a ip address and this is a port number so you need to provide this ip address and this port number into your browser and then we are uh, then we can capture all the data so let's move on to your browser for capturing or for to uh, communicating with the bob suit community edition you need to install a add on named foxy proxy 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 which you can find in the firefox add on section foxy proxy there will be uh, two versions of foxy proxy will be available one is foxy proxy standard and one is foxy proxy basic you can use both as well and you can use one of them so i'm click here on foxy proxy basic the tool is uh, the add on is already installed so you can find it here so this is the foxy proxy add ons and you need to go here click on options click on add and here you can provide the ip address which will be written here so this is the ip address and this is the port number port number we need to configure with our browser so you can uh, give a title as your need uh, the title can be anything you want to so i am giving here bob i am giving here cyber security boot camp and this section this is called proxy ip address or dns names where you can uh, enter your ip address and here you can provide the port number port number is 8080 then you can save it let me tell you once again click on the uh, foxy proxy add on click on option click on add then provide a name according to your need and which will you remember give here the ip address which will be which you can find it on from bob suit the ip address will remain same for all of you because this is a local host address so it will be displayed as 127.0.0.1 and this is the port number port number 8080 so we need to uh, give 
those IP and this port number into our proxy proxy add-on. So I'm already given. So you can see the cyber security. This is the section where I will be created. So you can see this configuration will ready and I can save it. So again, we need to configure this IP and the port number into your browser. And also Bobsuit will provide a certificate as well. So we need to install this certificate into your browser. So you can find the certificate here. Uh, here is the section in, for, in proxy. And when you go to option, you can find the section of certificate import export CA certificate. You will click on that and uh, export the certificate in DER format. You can uh, import in export in the other format as well, but your browser will accept only DER format. So we will be export this certificate in DER format. Click on DER format, click on next and choose a file to export the CA certificate because uh, basically this is a path in your operating system where you want to uh, download this certificate. So you need to select a path and I am, sele I am selecting the download section and uh, provide a file name. So this file name is cyber security and you can save it. So your certificate will be uh, saved as cyber security. This is the name of certificate and you, this is the path where certificate will be downloaded by Bob suit. Click on next. And the certificate, you will get this message, the certificate was successfully exported. Now close this window and back to the browser, go to browser's setting. The setting will be accessed by, by this, click on this setting. And here you can find all the certificates your browser had. Type the cert in the search box and you can find the section where all the certificates uh, will be displayed. Click on view certificate. So basically when a browser uh, connect to the domains, it will, be, it will use different different certificates for communication. So all the pre-installed certifications are displayed and we have to import a new certificate which will be uh, downloaded by the Bob suit. So we need to click on import and you have to put the file we will be download earlier. So click on download and you can see here is my file. So you need to click on all files because uh, the certificate files will be not uh, uploading. Click on this cyber security and open. The message is displayed. This certificate is already installed as a certificate authority. So. Basically, my uh, configuration is already happened. So I don't need to uh, reconfigure it, uh, reconfigure the software. But if you are using uh, the, this software, this tool first time, you need to uh, provide a certificate for once. This configuration is for once. Uh, when you when your configurations are done, you are have to right, you are ready to go for using Bob Suit. So now, how to use Bob Suit? So for using Bob suit, we need to go to proxy and the intercept tab and click on enable intercept means where your traffic will be displayed. You need to click on intercept is on. Basically, uh, we are, what we are doing, we are doing that uh, our browser traffic will be redire redirected to this, this, uh, this software, this tool. So we need to. Uh, we need to see why, uh, what is the message our browser is generating and what is the message our uh, uh, server is responding. So what is the request and what is the response? We can, we can, uh, we can monitor both via this tool. So we need to go to proxy intercept and then intercept is on and then go back to your browser on the proxy proxy add on your setting. So this is my cyber security bootcamp setting and now visit a website. So I am visiting a website, google.com. And when you go to your Bob suit, you can find the request here. This is the request. This is the message your browser will generate when communicating with the Google.
got it so this is so bob suit is basically uh, using the uh, bob suit is used for capturing all the traffic your browser is generating and uh, upon capturing the traffic we can modify we can add some data if we want to so uh, let me tell you one more time how this work so i'm closing this so i turn off everything now go back to your uh, bob suit community edition tool and go to the proxy section in proxy section you, you can find a tab named intercept on this intercept intercept is on now this uh, software is ready to capture all the traffic your browser is generating go to your browser go to your add on proxy proxy add on click on the uh, configuration you will create it now visit the domain you want to capture the request so you can see the request is displayed here this is the request now my, my browser is generating and uh, you can see there are uh, many information in this request if you want to see the response of the server here you need to forward this request into the repeater tab for forwarding uh, this request into the repeater tab you need to use the action tab action uh, action function and in action function there is a option send to this send request send this request to repeater so you can uh, click here and your request is forwarded to the repeater so this repeater tab will display all the responses your server will generate so using bob suit you can monitor what is the response what is the request generated by your browser and what is the response generated by your server we can monitor both of the things uh, particularly in this software so if i send uh, this request to the server you can see the response of the server here so this bob suit is a uh, uh, quite important for our cyber security so you need to uh, you need to understand how this function you need to understand how this uh, how to configure this uh, when you are using this you are you can be uh, able to capture all the request all the traffic your browser will generate and uh, all the all other the things all all other the response messages your server will generate with the help of this tool we can also modify or can delete or can change request and response as well so now let's understand what is the what is in the request or what is in the response so basically when you are uh, when you are able to capture a request a request message contains three types of body one is called the request line the second is called header line and uh, then your message so request message the so request is basically something your browser is generating to communicate with the server so request message contains three types of uh, headers one is request line the first line is known as request line then you have headers which have all the information about your browser about your connection about uh, your host will be which will be you are connecting to then a blank line it will separate your message and then your body also the response message also contains some one is response line then some headers then a blank line and then body body is something when uh, your data is displayed it is displayed in the body section so let's go back to our bob suit and see what these request line headers or body sections are so in this request or response this first line is known as request line it always comes with a http header if your if your uh, request if your message looks like this 
which where you have this http uh, header in your message that means it is a request all the other things like this host cookie and the other things user agent see in the bottom this is all the headers we have and in headers we have some information regarding those headers like in the host header we have the domain name which will be you are uh, which will be visiting and in the cookie section here is the all the cookie your browser is generating and in the user agent section this is the information about your browser which, what is the what is your browser what is the what are the operating system you are use so i'm now right now i'm using a macintosh intel mac os x so it will be displayed here so headers contains some information regarding the header name so we have multiple request headers also in the last we have a blank line then we have message body in this request there is no messages so the body section is empty what it in and also in the response message the first line is known as response line this line is known as response line and then we have some headers like in 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 11 we have multiple headers then a blank line and we have a our body the body will display all the uh, data or the message and these headers or these request and response line will tell you uh, how this uh, how this transmission works your transmission is valid or not like uh, if i want to give you example Uh, if you are visiting a website that is not uh, responsive like if you are visiting a page and that is not available on the server you will get a error message so you will get here the error will be displayed here so by analyzing uh, this request and response we can uh, differentiate uh, how our server or how our browser behave so it is very important to understand uh, how this bob suit function because bob using bob suit we can automate our task we can uh, scan a a web application we can uh, launch some attacks with the help of bob suit but first we need to configure uh, with our browser so uh, this uh, configuration will be uh, you can use uh, the google chrome and the other browsers as well but uh, firefox will provide you uh, some efficiency or you can use easily so right now you can only uh, use bob suit with the firefox browser as so in firefox browser install all these addons i told you uh, in the first place so let me show you again these all or the addons you need to uh, install in your uh, section in your browser these all or the addons you need to uh, install in your browser also the bob suit software which you can be download by visiting this website portsiga.net go to bob suit community edition and go to downloads after downloading you can easily configure with your browser and your bob suit for that you need to uh, you need a proxy for that uh, you need a proxy ip so you go to options and find your proxy ip and port after that you can uh, export a certificate and these two setting can be imported into your browser for certificate you can go to the settings tab and uh, search here certificate and if uh, import the certificate you are downloading from the bob suit for giving the ip and port you can use the foxy proxy add on setting go to options create a new setting add the ip and the port number and you are ready to go you can capture all the traffic before capturing the traffic you need to own this setting and own the firefox or uh, own the proxy button in the bob suit software upon upon open uh, while you are uh, 
on the button you can able to capture all the request when your work is done you can off this button and off this setting and now you can use your internet like this when uh, you are directing uh, redirecting your traffic to the bob suit you are not able to use your internet so uh, make sure when your request capture is done you can uh, turn off your uh, settings so you can turn off here and you can turn off here hope you are uh, getting uh, this uh, lab setup so with uh, with that note uh, i will take your take your leave now uh, on monday we will be understanding how bob suit functions works uh, different types of uh, bob suit uh, methods different types of bob suit options and uh, how we, you will analyze all the results in first place so if you have any questions and doubts uh, you can uh, ask in the telegram group or you can uh, ask in the in our chat section as well over to you sir okay thank you sumit uh, for sharing all the details with everybody and uh, uh, guys i am just sharing the telegram group link in the chat so if you are not part of the telegram group you can join and uh, for sure like you you just need to go through this session recording once again because whatever uh, sumit demonstrated you so you need to configure those things in your system and once those things are configured in your system then only uh, upcoming sessions you will be able to practice and uh, let us know in the telegram group if you see any kind of difficulty while config configuring uh, everything whatever sumit explained to you so uh, you can ask your question in the telegram group and uh, sumit will be there to support you right so i hope you are enjoying all the sessions and it is different kind of boot camp and uh, you won't find any uh, channel any youtube channel where uh, live sessions are happening on cyber security in uh, so much detail so please follow sumit's youtube channel that is the cyber security zone uh, on that channel he is posting uh, small small videos uh, covering uh, specific topics related to cyber security and uh, on my channel uh, sanjay gupta tech school he is coming live and sharing all the details with you so the recordings will be available on his channel as well right so support him and uh, if you are really interested to become a freelancer so cyber security is a good opportunity for you right so with this note thank you everybody for joining this session and uh, uh, do watch the recording and if you have any doubt then um, just ping in the telegram group thank you everybody thank you sumit for sharing your knowledge and next session will be on next week monday okay thank you everyone thank you sumit thank you